Morning folks, welcome along, it's freaking Monday. We're back into the brewery and the pub beer garden. I'm just gonna go there now and double check that my wall is still up. We have a 24 volt power supply for the cold room and I have some HR documents to read today. God, kill me. But unfortunately, it's a necessary evil, so let's first finish off the wall and then we'll look at the next job in sequence. Hops are doing well. Need to do a bit of weeding in the garden. And as expected, the tape's been taken down. Probably just blown down to be fair. And the wall is still intact. Lovely. Well, I've given it a wobble. Feels pretty solid. I don't know though, two bricks, two by twos, maybe, maybe not. I think we'll pop another tower here and another one on this end. But I do need some more bricks by the looks of it. Let's go and do a quick mix then. It's absolutely unbelievable how much time just finishing off this brickwork has taken. So I've repointed the blocks and uh, tried to clean them up a little bit. I think they look pretty good like. So here's yet another view. Five minutes. All right, mate. <laughs> yeah, here's yet another view. We have the pillar. All the block work I think looks relatively clean. There's some staining down there, as you can see where I've been pointing up, but fear not, I have some brick acid to sort that out. Now I've run out of bricks, so I've taken all these pillars to the same height. We need to put probably uh, another four or six pairs on top to take it up to the height where the, where the railing's gonna be. And then if I jump across, well, this side's not been washed down yet, but you can see we're all pointed, and yeah, we're all ready to go. We're ready, just about ready for railings and cappings now. I'm pleased. I'm pleased anyway, that's the main thing, isn't it? So, just a big, big clean down operation. Get all the uh, tools, the wheelbarrow, the cement mixer, all cleaned down and put away, because that ain't going to be coming out for a week or two now. Uh, not until... Well, I'll probably have the railings made by the time we come to put in those extra few bricks on. So that's not a problem, really. Uh, right, let's get this lot cleaned up. I'm just cleaning the mixer out now. Right, it's about time we got this cold room chiller fixed, so... I've ripped apart the old control panel out the brewery at home because uh, she is no more. I know, it's horrible news. But yes, the brewery at home is no longer functioning because I may as well just brew here. I now, let's face it, I can get a brew done here in the same time. So we've got this uh, 24 volt um, 
14.6 amp. I think that's going to be strong enough to run that fan outside. In fact, I'm almost certain it is. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to hook this up then. I think what I'll do is piggyback this up here with, with this 20, 12 volt unit as well. And then when I get a little bit of time or uh, spare 15, 20 quid, I'll go and buy a box to house both of these um, power transformers in. And then what we can do is we can always gain access to them in the future if needed without having to get underneath into the chillers. Because obviously once this has got an ice bank in it, oh, we're not gonna have an ice bank in it, are we? Well, either way, I don't wanna be messing about with the side panels all the time. I'd rather set it and forget it. So we'll mount these separately in a little box hung on the wall so people can't get the fingers in. But until then, I think I'll just pull the, uh, yeah, I'll just pull the power straight up to it and uh, get the whole shebang working again. Fingers crossed, this is the solution. So just out of curiosity, this is the transformer that's come out of the cooling machine, the Classic 1000, and immediately I can see framing you. Look at that. That to me looks like some type of smoke damage or spark damage just there. So this may lead us to the problem. Don't get me wrong, it's being replaced regardless. But let's just unwind. I've not really seen one of these before, so it's a big old heavy copper coil. So it's quite an old unit, made in 95. Yes, definitely the problem. So looking in there, this is why it was actually blowing the fuses because looks to me like we've just got a dead short looking at that. So it's gone really kaput. Look at that, just there, look. So uh, I'm not going to investigate any further. I can see the damage. Looks like the insulation's gone. The insulation's gone off the coils off the copper so obviously it's uh, it's just shorted out so let's get down there then on the floor again put this new one in right I've got the power supply unit in position and the fan hasn't come on so I've realized what my mistake is this is a 24 volt AC transformer so it takes 240 volts AC and it changes it to 240 uh, to 24 volts AC. So unfortunately, uh, this is DC, so it won't work. So that fan that's outside only operates on AC current. So this is a no-go, unfortunately. So we're going to have to think of another way of doing it. I think essentially all I'm going to have to do is buy a 24 volt AC transformer, put that in line and hopefully it should work. I might have one, believe it or not, but I'm not 100% sure. Now unfortunately I do have an adapter, but it's the wrong kind, so this is a 12 volt AC to AC, so we need to swap this out for a 24 volt AC to AC. You see the size difference though, can't you? Tiny in comparison. Ah well, anyway, uh, let's get another job done, seeing as that one's failed. So finally, before we go home, we've got one last little contraption to uh, work with. And this is a chip chipper, a stainless steel chip chipper. So we had an experiment with all different types of frozen chips for the pub kitchen and quite frankly I don't think we should do that, I think we should do fresh but chipping the chips is the problem. So we've got this chip chipper so mount it on the wall or on a floor 
or on a worktop, should I say. But what I've seen people do is have them mounted on the wall like this in the kitchen, and then you have a bucket filled with, underneath, filled with water, and you just get chip after chip after chip, and smash, potato after potato, should I say. And uh, the good thing about this machine, it comes with a fries setting, so I think this is a 5mm fries, you can see that mesh, and this is what chops the chips, the plunger that goes through. It has a potato wedges cutter, again you can see how that action works for chopping your wedges, and over here we have two more plates. So this is 10 mil square, I think. That's another good size plate. Oh yeah, that's nice and sharp for cutting 10 mil chips. And then this bad boy. Oh, well that'll be your chunky chips then actually. That's your chunky chips. And this must be your 10 mil chips. Shall we get a ruler on them and see how big they are? So this one is Oh yeah, so that's 13 mil. This one is nine mil, and then the one that's in in the machine is six mil. So they're the three different sizes plus the wedges. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, giving this machine a whirl. I might have a play with it tonight. Was pretty good. Well, that was easy enough. Just a couple of those fiddly little clips that go ching and shoot off. But uh, I suppose I better show you the action. That's the chip crushing action. Oh, I'll get it in the shot, yo. So yes, chip crushing action. We'll be giving that a run for its money tonight, I think. So that's just catching on that side. I put a little bit while I'm here, a little bit of food grade silicon spray. Oh, yes. Oh, that's the dogs now. Right. So if we store everything in there like that. ready to be transported. Right, I think we're gonna probably call it a day now. Oh, let's get the camera up. Yeah, I think we're gonna call it a day now. It's half past five, so I'm ready to uh, shoot off and get this video edited up. Otherwise, I'm gonna be dead tired when I do it. Well, that's the rubbish taken out. Fucking you, Kip. So, uh, yes, next job is we're gonna wait for Gemma to come home and we're gonna slice some potatoes. Right then, folks, Gemma is gonna be the fantastic camera girl and uh, we're just unpacking some shopping, so there's a bit of a mess, but I wanna get the video edited, so we're gonna slice some potatoes. So here we have a bowl of cold water, and here we have the potato slicer. If I can come and hand over to you, Jem. You get over there my chicken. I've never done this before, so I assume you slam in the potatoes, and you just, oh, <laughs> oh, ah oh, yes. It takes some pressure then. Oh, there we go. And retract. Oh my. We definitely do have fries. So, I've seen a couple of videos of people using these machines, and they don't use them like this on a work surface. They have them mounted onto a wall above a bucket 
like that and they put the potatoes on and they just slam every time straight into the bucket so let's try again we'll go for the slam I'm just hoping I don't knock anything off the side oh in a wonder they look like what do you reckon abs they're definitely McDonald's okay. fry size, aren't they? They're in the Okay. This is a big one. <laughs> right then. Are you ready? Stand back so I have to punch it forwards. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh yeah. They're flying out now. Well, I'm pleased with it. <laughs> But like I say, it definitely needs mounting, don't you think? Again. <laughs> See if I can... Uh... Oh, I think I've got the knack of it now. Yeah. Is there any more? That's Do quite a lot of fries. There's this one and another. Okay, let's do it. Get him in the Vada. Get him in the Vada quick. Oh, look at us. We're becoming right master chefs, aren't we? Which reminds me of uh, that video, that accent I just did then. I've been watching this video on the weekend all about sausage making. And what was his name? Eckenhard, the, Ge <laughs> Eckenhard, the German butcher. You got to put your sausages in the Vada. <laughs> <laughs> right, are you ready? The last one. Slamo. Let's see if we can get a really good shot. You hold as steady as you can. Oh! <laughs> oh. That one didn't really work. <laughs> it did now. Oh, get them in the water. I'll be back. Get them in the water. <laughs> Right, that's it. We've got a bowl full of fries. But not cooked. Not cooked yet, no. And uh, I'm going to edit the video uh, while we clean this mess up. We'll see you tomorrow for more... Bye. ...stuff <laughs> on the vlog. Did you just trump? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're standing on my foot. <laughs>